All right, New Mexico, for the big bright idea this week, we're going to do a big bright debate. That's right, we're going to talk about, I'm, I'm going to pose a question to our two experts, Kimberly Temple and Tyler Ortega, and we're going to talk about whether or not it's plausible for something here in Albuquerque. You guys ready? I'm ready. Let's get it popping. Okay, so the big bright idea is this. Can Albuquerque, New Mexico support an NBA franchise? Kimberly, what do you think? I will start it off right away and tell you this. Hashtag bring NBA to ABQ. Get it viral, guys. Let's take it. Let's do it. Let's get an NBA team to Albuquerque. I've read so many articles saying that it's a possibility for Albuquerque. We've kind of talked about this before. And if OKC can maintain a basketball team, Albuquerque has a higher income per ratio, per household ratio. We have a higher popu or population, excuse me. Yeah. Um, if OKC can do it, Albuquerque can do it. All right. Um, you know, I first off, let me say I would love, absolutely just love to have an NBA team here in Albuquerque. Uh, I would put season tickets on layaway for that <laughs> instance. I would, I would be there every game supporting our home team. However, I, I don't think it would work. I just don't think it would work. Sure, Albuquerque does have the, uh, the higher income, all those good numbers you just threw out. But, I mean, when you see uh, what we already have with the New Mexico Lobos, this season, the Lobos were dismal. Attendance at the pit was dismal. It was at a low of, I think it was like 20 years or something. You know, so when the team is doing bad, the Albuquerqueans just aren't there to support them. While I do think it would be successful for the first couple of years, don't necessarily see it uh, having long-term success. Now, now, let me back up on that. Do you think that that success is incumbent upon the team's actual win streak? Because there's a few teams that haven't won games in a while. And haven't gone anything in the playoffs, but they've still been able to, you know, put people in the stands. Sure. Um, I, I really see it as an instance like the Sacramento Kings. You know, back in the early 2000s when they had Bibby, Doug Christie, Divock, Stojakovic, those players, uh, the seats were always filled in Sacramento. However, nowadays, they're talking about moving the team just because, you know, the fans aren't showing up. And I think that definitely has to do with the product that is on the court. Okay, definitely the product on the court. Now, talking about fan support, Kimbrey, what do you think that, that the people of New Mexico can offer to an NBA franchise as far as becoming fans? All right, so I actually read an article about this, which I think is really important. Wagesofwins.com had a 2011, a few years ago, post saying that Albuquerque could potentially financially maintain a professional sports team. They listed NBA, NHL, NFL, and a Major League Soccer team, NBA being the third on the list. Now, I think Albuquerque, like Tyler said, we have some fair weather fans, but if it's true what this article said, Albuquerque has, again, a very high population. Now, there's also some factors to success for the team without having enough fans. How much the tickets cost? How many home games are we gonna have? What food are we gonna sell in the concession stands? If we have enough home games, fans will go. It's something to do on the weekends. It's something to do on the weeknights. It's a family-friendly environment. There's a lot of potential to improve the entire city with the income it potentially brings in. I think that we would have the fan base that we need. If we have the fan base that we need to support. Just a note of a uh, little quick fact check. Albuquerque, the last time my producer checked, had about one million people in the metropolitan area, including Santa Fe. And Oklahoma City has about 1.4. So just a little bit more folks. But the Albuquerque, we also are very close to places like Denver, El Paso, and other places that people would come see. Okay, so... We have two different opinions going on. Possibly, maybe we have the fans to support, maybe we have the money to support, and Kimber, you have numbers to prove that we actually do have the fans and the numbers to support. I wanna talk about facilities. We have the space downtown. Downtown needs to be revitalized. It's something that can actually happen. What about building a facility, 35,000 seats, that can fit more than just NBA games? There'll be 41 home games, Yes. coming into the NBA, 41 away games, people flying in who are fans who want to see LeBron James play right. in person. Those games will definitely sell out when the Warriors and the like come in. But sure. what about some of the other events that can take place, that normally take place at the pit, that can take place at this new arena? Do you guys think that that would help us out at all? I think so. If you've ever wanted to see Taylor Swift in concert, you probably won't see her in Albuquerque unless we have a bigger facility for her. There's not enough space at the pit. There's not enough space at the major concert facilities that we do have. If you've ever wanted to see a college NBA or excuse me, a college March Madness game, there's potential for that kind of thing. 
um, track and field. We've talked about that. The popularity is growing with those sports. And I think there's so much potential for bigger, more intense events in Albuquerque if we have the arena. Yeah, that's that's absolutely a great point. I, I'm in full agreement with you there. Um, just the, the the possibility of hosting some NCAA tournament games. I know the pit has hosted a few before. Wise Pies Arena, I'm sorry. Um, I know they've hosted a few regionals before. I know on the women's side as well as on the men's side. Uh, I think it was about five, six years ago, I think they had a, a couple of first round games here. But I mean, you touched on it, Kimberly, the concerts, all the other events that we could have here. But I want to throw uh, a little curveball at you guys. I think actually an MLS team would work a little bit better here in Albuquerque as opposed to an NBA team. Well, why do you think that? Uh, well, first off, you know, we, we've seen it here with the Soul, the Albuquerque Soul. They came in just a couple of years ago. They're getting more and more support. They were talking, uh, in fact, about building their own soccer stadium. Soccer is a huge, huge sport here in Albuquerque. You know, we see it all the time. The state soccer championships in the fall are a huge event when you go out to that, uh, the complex out there on the west side of Albuquerque. Loads of people coming in from all over the state. And soccer itself is an epidemic. It's catching on here in the United States. I really, really think that Albuquerque would be a little bit more successful with that as opposed to an NBA team because, one, you're not going to have higher, uh, the high player salaries like you would have with the NBA. The tickets would cost less. The stadium would have a, a few less seats. Not necessarily, you know, 35,000 or, or the number that you guys were throwing out. But uh, I, I really just think the way that soccer is catching on here in America, I think this would be a great spot for it. I will say that in the article that I read, I, the aforementioned article discussing the possibility for being able to have a pro team, MLS was the number one pro level team it said that Albuquerque could financially withstand. So everything you're saying makes a lot of sense. There's a lot to back that. I just would rather see the NBA come. Yes. Of course. We'd rather see a big franchise come. But having said that, we've got the MLS coming. I know it's, 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 it works out perfectly for the MLS as they're looking to expand as soccer is getting a bigger profile. But we know the thing that pushes the profile of soccer or football the most is the United States, how they do in the Olympics, but most notably the World Cup. Now, the women's game has done well. They won the World Cup last year. They pulled it off. However, the men's game struggled just to beat Guatemala, potentially a few weeks ago, almost were out of contention to make it to the World Cup. And I say this, as American sports attention goes, is often how the men's team goes. Now, the women have done a lot to really dispel that myth a little bit. But since MLS still isn't quite there, it's about number four or number five on the national market as far as advertising, television dollars, and TV contracts, wouldn't it be more plausible for Albuquerque, possibly the Maloofs, or some very wealthy families to get together to try to bring a Sacramento Kings team to New Mexico and I think that would work well. What are your thoughts? I did find a few teams that are potentially going to be up for sale in the next 10 years. Now, some of these teams have not said that they would relocate, nor do they have interest in relocating, but they might be up for sale. The Minnesota Timberwolves, valued at $1 billion. It's a little bit above Albuquerque's price range, I think. The Chicago Bulls, their value not listed on a for sale sign yet. And the Detroit Pistons, 33 $125 million. Now, the average NBA team's value is $1.25 billion. It's a lot, Albuquerque, but I think, I mean, the Detroit Pistons, you said it yourself, the Kings. There's some teams out there who need a new location, I think, to revamp their, their team, their name, their fan base. Out of all those teams, I could really see the Minnesota Timberwolves moving. It see, Chicago is not going to let go of the Bulls after Michael Jordan. Detroit's no. not going to let go of no. the Pistons after the bad boys. Fair and enough. then what Chauncey Billups and those guys were able to do. But can you imagine the young Albuquerque Wolves with Aaron Levine and, and um, who's the big guy? Andrew Wiggins and some of these other yeah, players Rubio. coming here. Yes. Ricky Rubio. That would be an the absolute The Lobos, the Albuquerque thing. Timberwolves. I can oh, see it. Yeah. I can see it. That would be something that works. <laughs> Ladies go. and gentlemen, that was the Big Bright Idea debate. You can check it out. What's the hashtag, Kimberly, that they need to look hashtag at? Hashtag bring MBA to ABQ. And I wrote a blog for you guys just so you can see. I cited my sources, www.sports-skinny.com. Check it out for yourselves, and you'll hear more about it on the eSports Report. All right. For Kimberly and Tyler, I want to thank you guys so much for staying with us this episode. We'll be back tomorrow with more from the U Sports Report. See you.